morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. The frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other disease and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who send their private intentions. For the benefactors and friends of the Basilica. And for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Angelus. Please kneel. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For for to beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins, and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other See us for his crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of God, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman, pray for us.
Good morning, everyone. Just a reminder po sa mga nanay or parents na may mga bata, may mga dala-dalang mga anak na bata.
Please stand. Immaculate Mother, see the repeat. Through us, God our Father, for help in our deep. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, today we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Uh, the, the Blessed Virgin Mary showed up and gave us a scapular to tell us that through her intercession we can be saved. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions. We pray for all those who ask for our prayers and for all those who ask for our in prayers and for the intentions of this Mass. Now, my dear sisters and brothers, let us also acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of the glorious Virgin come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, so that, fortified by her protection, we may reach the mountain which is Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Woe to those who plan iniquity and work out evil on their cultures. In the morning light, they accomplish it when it lies within their power. They covet fields and seize them, houses and they take them. They cheat on honor of his house a man of his inheritance. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, I am planning against this race an evil from which you shall not withdraw your necks, nor shall you walk with head high, for it will be a time of evil. On that day, a satire shall be sung over you and there shall be a plaintive chant. Our ruin is complete. Our fields are portioned out among our captors. The fields of my people are measured out, and no one can get them back. Thus, you shall have no one to mark out boundaries by lot in the assembly of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. Why, O Lord, do you stand aloof? Why hide in times of distress? Proudly, the wicked harass the afflicted who are caught in the devices the wicked have contrived. Do not forget <clears throat> the poor, O Lord. 
For the wicked man glories in his greed, and the covetous blasphemes sets the Lord at naught. The wicked man boasts, he will not avenge it. There is no God, sums up his thoughts. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. His mouth is full of cursing, guile, and deceit. Under his tongue are mischief and iniquity. He larks in ambush near the villages. In hiding, he murders the innocent. His eyes spy, spy upon the unfortunate. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. You do see, for you behold misery and sorrow, taking them in your hands. On you the unfortunate man depends. Of the fatherless, you are the helper. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, we can hope on the kikinig ako sa iyo. Ang asalita, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees went out and looked and took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. When Jesus realized this, he withdrew from the place and many people followed him, and he cured them all. But when, but he warned them not to make him known. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through Isaiah the prophet, Behold, my servant, whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom I delight, I shall place my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not contend or cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoldering wick he will not quench, until he brings justice to victory, and he, or in his name, the Gentiles will hope. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Today, po, as I have said in my introduction, we are also celebrating one of the titles of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the title Our Lady of Mount Carmel. In this celebration, po, we are also reminded of the scapular given by the Blessed Virgin Mary. No, so yung mga nag scapularyo po o yung gumagamit ng mga scapular, yung brown na tela, yun po yung tinatawag natin na scapularyo based doon sa habit o habito ng mga, mga Carmelites. No? And it was the message of the Blessed Virgin Mary that whoever will wear it will be saved. However po, marami naman po ang nakamisunderstood dito. No? Nasasabihin nila, gagamitin ko ito at ma mabubuhay na ako at meron na ako buhay na walang hanggan. Hindi po yun ang ibig sabihin ni Santa Maria, no? Na kahit isuot mo yung scapularyo, mamatay ka, diretso ka na sa heaven. It does not follow. Ano pong ibig sabihin nun? No, the Blessed Virgin Mary asked us to use this scapular, number one, to remind us of the message of the Blessed Virgin Mary. No? At number two, yung scapularyo po na yun ay ito pong simbolo ng ating pagiging Kristiyano. Number three, 
yung scapularyo po na yun ay reminder din po sa atin na kailangan tayo din po ay maging mabuhay ng mabuting kristyano. No? So, hindi po nagbabase ang ating kaligtasan sa scapularyo lamang. No? <coughs> so, kahit po naka-scapularyo ka, no? na naniniwala tayo, na tayo ay tutulungan ni Santa Maria, kung ikaw naman ay hindi gumagawa ng mabuti, kung ikaw naman ay hindi sa masunurin sa Panginoon, then wala pong silbi ang ginagamit nating iskapularyo. Ganon din po yung ating paggamit ng rosary. No? Kahit po tayo ay may hawak na rosary, hindi po automatic na tayo ay pupunta na kaagad sa langit. No? The rosary should help us to pray The rosary should help us to be good. No? Yan po yung sinasabi sa atin ng ating pong celebration ngayon ng Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Kung minsan po dito sa Basilica, may mga nagpapabless ng kanilang mga sasakyan, ng mga motor. No? Sasabihin nila, Father, i-bless mo pa tong rosary. Isasabit ko sa aking sasakyan para hindi ako madisgrasya. No? Hindi po nagbabase ang disgrasya sa rosary, no? Nagbabase 'yan sa nagda-drive, no? So kahit po kahit ilang dosen ng rosary ang ilagay mo diyan, kung hindi ka naman maingat sa pagmamaneho mo, hindi ka talaga maka- makakahanap ka talaga ng disgrasya. Ganun din po for example, marami po dito ang nagpapa-bless ng mga pencil, ballpen, dahil sila daw po ay mag exam no? Hindi ka makakapasa kung hindi ka rin nag-aral, no? Kahit ilang galon ng holy water ang ibuhos ko diyan sa sa pencil at ballpen mo kung hindi ka nag-aral, hindi ka talaga makakapasa sa examination mo. Ganun din po sa mga house blessing, 'di ba? Nagpapa-bless tayo ng bahay para mawala daw ang malas, no? Mawala daw ang mga evil spirits. So kahit ilang galon ng holy water po ang iwisit namin sa bahay na yan, kung nag ang pamilya, talagang dadapo dyan ang demonyo. Bakit ko po sinasabi ito? Dahil there are times o oh, maraming beses po na ang mga rosary, ang mga escapularyo, ang mga pins o di kaya naman kahit yung mga kandila ay nagiging anting-anting na lang po sila. No nagiging pampaswerte sila. Hahawakan ko ito para ako ay hindi mag, hindi ma-disgrasya. Mga ganun pong bagay, nakakalimutan po natin na ang essence po ng mga ginagamit natin mga religious articles ay number one, it should remind us of God. Number two, it should remind us to pray no para magdasal. Pag nakikita mo yung rosary, it reminds you to pray the rosary. Number three, it also reminds us to be good, no? Na isa buhay ang salita ng Diyos. Yan po ang ibig sabihin ng ating paggamit ng mga religious articles na tinatawag po natin. Mga imahen, mga rosary, mga escapularyo, o kung ano-ano pa pong mga religious articles na to. So today po, as we celebrate the feast of our Lady of Mount Carmel, we are again reminded of our devotion. No, ang ating de- pong devotion at ang ating pong mag- paggamit ng kinatawag po natin mga sacramentals o di kaya yung mga imahen at mga religious articles na sana po ang mga bagay-bagay ni ito ay hindi po natin ginagamit bilang mga anting-anting o pang paswerte o pang paligtas sa atin. Instead, kagaya po ng sinabi ko kanina, itong mga religious articles na ito should number one, remind us of God, remind us of the heavenly realities. Number two, it should remind us to pray. And number three, it should also remind us to be good, to become good Christians. Yan po ang gamit ng mga religious articles na pinapabless natin dito po sa piyak o kung saan man, no? Para tulungan tayo na maging mabuting Kristiyano. So today, as we continue the feast of Saint or our Lady of Mount Carmel, we ask the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary 
to continue also to pray for us and also help us to do what is good. Amen. Let's just stand. Let us pray to God the Father as we honor Mary, our Lady of Mount Carmel. In every petition we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may share Mary's faith with the world and follow God's will with joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the Holy Spirit may overshadow the church, filling it with obedience and faith and fruitfulness mm. in good works. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That as Mary's body became the dwelling place of the world, we may honor our own bodies and, tem and temples of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may devote our lives to the study and contemplation of God's word. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may find in Mary a true refuge. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. Heavenly Father, send the Holy Spirit upon us so that we may hear your word in faith and fulfill it in our lives. Give us hearts that are joyful and obedient to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Let us be reminded po, please wear your face mask and wear it properly. Nasa pandemic pa rin po tayo, so please pakisuot po ang inyong mga face mask at pakisuot po ng maayos ang inyong mga face mask. Thank you. sisters and brothers that may sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered. No question be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise 
for truly even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Santo, 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 Panginoong Diyos, Pagutuno ang langit at lupa ng kanakilaan mo. O sana, o sana, o sana sa kaitaasan, o sana, O sana, O sana sa kaitaasan, Pinagpalang na paririkot Sa ngalan ng Panginoon. O sana, O sana, O sana sa kaitaasan, O sana, O sana, O sana sa kaitaasan. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Bless you, sir. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, 
we dare to say. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Zero ng Diyos na nagalis ng mga kasalanan ng sanlibutan mawakan sa awit or zero ng Diyos na nagalis ng mga kasalanan ng sanlibutan mawakan sa awit for zero ng Diyos na nag-alis ng mga kasalanan ng sanlibutan Pagkalob o sa amin ang katayapan. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but all who say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Kanina pong anak itong batang ito.
Let us pray the up of the Spirit to our communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. As they are of my death, call me and bid me come to you that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. In Him alone are we justified. In Him alone are we saved. What have we to offer that does not May the world never satisfy the emptiness in our heart in vain. We did not So strong, in Him alone are we justified. In Him alone are we saved. When we lose its running, in search of hope. Let his love fill the hunger in your soul, in it ever close, with joy, yet to go. With him alone, we serve With him alone, we serve We are we 
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, O Lord, your mercy that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Paalala lang po, no, before po, ay after po matapos ang misang ito, Pag po natin lalapitan ang imahe ni Santa Maria, ibig sabihin po, bawal po hawakan ng kanyang damit, bawal din po hawakan ang kanyang bangka. Kasi nasa pandemic pa rin po tayo, ipinagbabawal pa rin po ng protocol para hindi po tayo magkahawaan ng sakit kung sakali man pong meron may sakit sa atin. So let us take precaution po, so bawal pa rin po. No? So just in case you want to pray po at lapitan si Santa Maria, meron pong pintuan sa kabilang parte ng simbahan na ito, at doon niyo po masisilip si Santa Maria ng medyo mas matagal po. Thank you. Let us now sing a song to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulce Do, Espes Nostra Salve, Ad Te Clamamos, Exules filieve, ad te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, ilos tuos, Misericorde soculos ad nos converte. Et Jesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis pos hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, O pia, O dulcis virgo maria. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, Almighty and everlasting everlasting God, by the cooperation of the Holy Spirit, you prepared the body and soul of Mary, glorious Virgin and Mother, to become the worthy dwelling place of your Son, grant that by her gracious intercession, in whose commemoration we rejoice, we may be delivered from present evils and from everlasting death. Through the same Christ, our Lord, Amen. our Lady of God, Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Let us pray the prayer before we crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humble me, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment 
while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that they did, your prophet said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Day no dearest mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of God, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>